There are nine ores in Minecraft, and today I'm going to be building an entire solar system with a planet for each ore. I start off with some easy to get ores like coal and iron, but as the video goes on, the planets get crazier and more expensive. So I'm building a planet for every ore, and I don't care what you say, dirt is an ore. So, dirt planet. Now that we have something to go off of, I can start planting the nine other planets that I want to build around here. And the next planet I'm going to be building is coal, so I need to find some blocks that when put together look like a giant coal planet. But first, I need a nap. So I think that we're going to need some blocks that are black and gray. So first, I'm going to head over here to this giant hole that I dug and grab a bunch of coal. Please tell me I have a crafting table somewhere around here. Ah, uh, there we go. That should be plenty of coal, and I should probably grab some other black blocks. Now let's go build this thing. And to build these planets, I'm using a mod called Lightmatica that helps me out with a blueprint on where I need to place each block. So it's time to finish off this coal planet. And bam, coal planet. So the next planet I'm going to be building is iron. I've actually already built an iron planet in this world. So this one should be a breeze. Diorite will be perfect for that. And some polished diorite, some stone, calcite. We can even use some of this tough. And of course, I'm going to need some iron blocks. I'm gonna need an absolute ton of iron. Let me go smell all this real quick. And I also want some of these plain iron ore blocks. And I should also probably grab some white wool, which I have an absolute ton of down here. That is a lot of iron. Okay, I think we have enough iron blocks. And now we go back to the end to build this thing. And that right there is an iron planet. Actually, it's not done, I forgot one thing. Yep, much better. I decided to add these pearlescent frog lights into this planet, and I think it makes it look super cool and glowy. Yeah, that iron golem is living my dream. I now have three out of the ten planets I need to build here, which is actually pretty good progress. Now, the next planet I want to build is redstone, but I do have a little slight problem. I barely have any redstone. I literally only have 14 blocks. So I think I'm gonna have to go mining for redstone. And sadly, that's not the only problem here. I'm pretty sure I have like basically no red flowers. Oh my God, I have a single flower. And I'm gonna need a lot more dye to make red wool and red concrete. So I need to make a dye farm. I'm pretty sure I need note blocks for this farm. Yeah, let me find out how to craft those real quick. I think it's just a chest with a piece of redstone in it. That actually worked, okay. And I'm gonna need a lot of bone meal. Okay, so one jukebox goes here, and now the farm should be ready. What on earth is happening? I have to add some bone meal into this chest, and we should start to get some flowers. Okay, it's been just a few minutes, and I've already gotten quite a few stacks of poppy flowers. And now we have plenty of red dye to dye all this wool red. Wait a second, what? Oh my god, what have you done? I can't believe this dude just came and ate all my sheep. And now you're my dog. I think I'm gonna name you Sheep, because you ate all my sheep. Now I can craft a bunch of red concrete. And now all I need left is redstone. Oh, diamonds. Why do I never find more than one? I think I'm also going to grab some of this dripstone for one of the planets later on. And do I see more diamonds over there? Hold on, I just got to grab these really quick. I haven't found a single piece of redstone yet, but I just found my third diamond vein. And you know what? I am not complaining. Finally, here's some redstone. Wait, are you telling me that was a single vein for redstone? Okay, there are a few too many creepers over here. But at least I've got plenty of redstone. And now we build the redstone planet. I've just now finished the outline for the redstone planet. But I kind of want to add in some more details. So I'm going to take a trip to my favorite place. Can you guys guess it? The nether. Isn't this place just wonderful? Now there is a reason I'm here. And there is a reason I have a ton of buckets in my inventory. I literally just spent my life savings on buckets. I'm going to grab an absolute ton of lava. Because I think I want to try adding a big crack into the planet with lava seeping out. Okay, this is definitely enough lava. I'm actually really proud that I didn't set myself on fire. Yeah, it, it happens a lot. So if I break a few blocks over here, then I can fill this in. Okay, not with wool. I'm gonna use terracotta for this part and make sure it's not touching any of this wool. So now the lava that's up here will flow right down here and hopefully won't leak out into the other planets. Yeah, if something goes wrong here, it's not going to be a good day for me. I could make this lava pocket bigger, but I'm absolutely terrified of building with lava anymore. So I think I'm just going to leave it at that. The next three planets are probably going to get a little expensive. Okay, not probably. I know that they're going to be expensive. Why are you here? Oh no, there's a baby zombie. I'm not messing with you guys. Is there a bed in one of these villages? Oh, thank God. No way this dude is still alive. Okay, as I was saying, I have plenty of ores. Wait a minute. I had all this redstone this whole time? What? Oh my gosh. I spent so long mining today. Wait, where did my crafting table go? I don't think you guys understand how often I lose crafting tables. And I think that's going to be enough lapis. I also want to use some warped stem. And I do have a few left over from when I built the warden. 
And I'm also going to grab some andesite. And I think all these blocks together will make the perfect lapis planet. And there's our lapis planet. But honestly, there's something I kind of want to add to this thing. And now I have a super cool rim around this planet, just like Saturn. Honestly, it just looks way better this way. So now we've built five out of the 10 planets that we need. And in a future video, I'm going to be adding something insane into the rest of the end island. But I should probably go grab a few more materials so that we can keep building. Meanwhile, wait a second. I'm just realizing now that all of these copper blocks are going to oxidize, which means this is going to turn green and look really weird with the blocks I textured it with. Well, it's a little late to change it now. I'm just gonna roll with it and the copper planet is done actually i'm kind of thinking that it needs a little bit of light all right that's much better okay so the next planet i'm gonna be building is gold and a few episodes ago i got a lot of it no seriously i have so much gold and i'm seriously out of fireworks oh but that's actually not even a problem Wait, where the heck did I build this thing again? There she is. Yeah, that is a beautiful sight. I genuinely can't believe I've already gone through like eight stacks of fireworks this video. That's actually a little embarrassing. Okay, but back to the castle now. So as you guys know, a few episodes ago, I built this. And if you head through the portal, you're sent to the nether roof. And my gold farm should be right over this way. And if I just smack one of these guys, we'll have plenty of gold in no time. Okay, that is actually a lot of XP. I'm just going to repair my tools really quick. And we have a lot of gold to craft. Okay, this has to be more than enough gold. Now I just gotta figure out what else I can use to build a gold planet. I'm thinking definitely some redstone. And maybe even some yellow concrete. This time I have plenty of yellow flowers for dye. Now I just have to turn all of this into concrete and we can build this planet. So it's just putting together the final block palette for the gold planet. And I think I have a genius idea. Let me just go grab something. Oh, bro, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, man. Now let me just make these look a little better. Okay, back to the end I go. Okay, the gold planet came out really cool. And since I have a ton of gold left over, I think I'm gonna add something in really quick. Okay, that's supposed to look like a tree. Uh, man, that is one weird looking tree. So if you guys didn't know, in one of my very first episodes of this series, I built a raid farm and uh, th this thing kind of goes crazy. Hold on, let me go find it. I saw a comment earlier that said guilty loses everything in his hardcore world and uh, it's true, but I actually found my raid farm. Uh, let me go get bad omen effect first. All right, where's the raid captain at? Aha, there he is. Come here, man. Thank you. Okay, now I just have to hop down here and the raid has begun. That is a beautiful sunset if I've ever seen one. So now if I just smack these guys a little bit, we get tons of XP and drops. Honestly, I just have so much saved up over here. I literally have more emeralds and totems than I know what to do with. Yeah, I used to have a little bit of an unhealthy obsession with this farm. Honestly, I'm just gonna use this to repair most of my tools for now because uh, this pickaxe is basically broken. I definitely have more than enough emeralds for this planet, but I'm just gonna grab whatever's left in these chests because honestly, these have been sitting here for a while and they're be emeralds in them and now we can just craft these into emerald blocks and add these into our collection and we should be good to go i can't believe i'm about to build a planet out of emeralds so i grabbed a few different concretes and some pearls and frog lights to texture up the build i'm still not sure if i'm going to be using this terracotta because i think it's a little too dark but i'm definitely going to be using some of the lime concrete and i think that i'm going to put this planet next to the dirt one and then after this we have diamond and netherite which is going to be so expensive And now that the emerald planet is complete, I can get started on the diamond and netherite planets. So for the diamond planet, I'm going to need a lot of diamonds. I think it's time to say goodbye to my deep slate diamond roof. Oh, this is a really sad day. But with my fortune three pickaxe, I should get a lot of diamonds from this. Oh, it feels so empty in here now. Let me just grab these diamonds from up here. And that just got us over a stack of diamonds. And if we add that to our other diamond collection, yeah, that is a pretty strong amount. I'm also going to place these ores down to try to get some more diamonds. Okay, that did not get me very far at all. I have under a stack of diamonds, which means I'm going to need a lot more. I'm still not at as many diamonds as I was hoping for, but this should do the trick. Now, because we only have a few stacks of diamond blocks, I'm going to be using some other materials to texturize up the planet and fill in space. And I should have some leftover blue wool from when I built this giant warden. And there's plenty of concrete and wool in here. So this should be plenty of materials for this planet. But first, I should probably get some more food. And I'm completely out of cows. Well, I guess I'm going to be eating bread now. I should really make a golden carrot farm soon. But let's go build this diamond planet. And the diamond planet is complete. 
Man, that took a while. So I now have nine planets in my end dimension and we're only needing one more and that is the netherite planet, which is going to go right there. And I don't have very much netherite, do I? Okay, I'll be needing these. Okay, so the best plan that I have in mind for finding netherite is by using TNT. And a while ago, I built a creeper farm so I should have plenty of gunpowder. Okay, a single piece of gunpowder. That is really underwhelming. Let me go AFK this thing really quick. Okay, now I really hope that these chests are full of gunpowder. All right, now that's actually pretty good. And now I just need to crack Craft all this into TNT and we'll be set. Okay, that should be enough TNT. Yeah, that's literally five stacks. I'm also gonna grab some fire resistance potions. Okay, I have two left, so that should do the trick. And I'm also gonna grab a flint and steel if I even have one anywhere. Here we go. And I should probably take some blocks. So I'm at about Y12, and now I'm just gonna dig a really big tunnel so that I can place a ton of TNT down. And we're already getting lava, great. Okay, now I have a really big tunnel. I'm gonna place down all this TNT. Okay, there is a lot going on right now. So now all I have to do is go around and find ancient debris, and I'm actually not seeing a single piece. Actually, I see some right there. That actually got us a lot more ancient debris than I thought it would. And we still have a lot more TNT to use. All right, I've used all of my TNT, and I'm pretty sure that I've gotten every ancient debris that's in here. Actually, I missed a few right there. Okay, so the grand total of ancient debris that I've got is 44. Now, obviously this wasn't enough for me, so I spent the entire night and the next day mining. I probably just spent 20 to 30 hours mining netherite. Oh my goodness, I am so tired. But I mean, this kind of paid off. I don't even know how I got that much netherite. Now you may be wondering why I have so much netherite, and that's a very good question. Long story short, there's a part of the netherite planet that I want to build, and it takes nine blocks of netherite. So I had to go find a ton of ancient debris for that. And while that's cooking up, I'm going to go get some other blocks that we can use for the planet, because uh, there is no way I'm building this out of just netherite. So I'm definitely going to be using some of these dripstone blocks, and I think I have some extra ancient debris somewhere in here there we go I'm also gonna need one of these I'm also gonna grab soul soil and soul sand and I guess I could add some blackstone in as well and let me make sure to also grab some gold so that way I can craft the netherite ingots And just like that, we already have two blocks of netherite. This should be the last of the ingots I need. And now I can craft the rest of the netherite blocks. Oh my goodness. I am holding the most expensive thing I have in this world. All right, let's go build this final planet. I can't believe I've just finished all 10 planets. Let me just show you guys the netherite planet. There she is. Okay, this came out way cooler than I expected. And yes, I added in a ton of this dark oak wood because honestly, it just worked really well. And there's a ton of hidden ancient debris on here, but not as many as I hoped for because I'm a little poor right now. But you might be wondering where the actual netherite blocks are and uh, there, there's none of them in this planet. And that is because uh, netherite is really expensive. So instead I grinded for these nine netherite blocks and we're gonna make a little bee Beacon. And there she is. I never thought I would ever have another right beacon. Now look, I know it's not a full beacon like Wadzi, but I'm very proud of this. It only took me like 200 hours. But now I'm very happy to say that my ore solar system is complete. Well, actually, since my last video, I have a ton of extra beacons. So let me just grab one of these. And I do have a few leftover diamonds. Yeah, I thought these other planets deserve beacons as well. And that is one complete solar system if I've ever seen one. Oh my goodness. And like I said earlier, this is only the first step in transforming the end island. It's going to get crazy in a few episodes.